The human mind is truly the scariest thing of all. Ideas, good or bad, can be there, but gone in a flash. Little moments had been missed. The hallucinations gripping your core. You can feel it, but this isn't hallucination. You look around the corner. You are tied back, hair color hair was cutted, oh, coveted in the safety of your mask, which was sa- sealed white with a re- regular to help you control your breathing. The suit was becoming too tight to in the chest area, but you could easily deal with it later. The mission right now was a stealth mission. Receive, replace, escape. You were where well you were were working on the escape bit but guards were everywhere searching for you and your friend after he had has been lately stuff off the alarm you really need to be more careful next time red you said in a low whisper to kirishima i didn't mean to i'm sorry we just need to get out of here you sighed and looked beyond your hiding spot again staring right at a guard who was staring back at you. God fucking damn it. You whipped your head around and you clicked the side of your helmet. Get ready to fight, Kirishima, because I just blew our cover. You spoke, breath shakily. You pulled your gun from your holster on your thigh and held it up. Damn it, he muttered. So much for quite escape. You said in a normal voice as the foot steps came closer you pushed yourself upright and turned on your heels aiming your gun you fired only to watch as he shot a blast back at the pair of you your eyes widened you didn't expect him to fire that fast but like a true hero karishima jumped in front of you and took the blast full force sending his body into yours and knocking the two of you away into the nearest wall other guards were alerted but the both of you were out cold. <laughs> That's how you are here now. You looked at your hands, once small and dainty and well minced, were now large and fingernails were bitten. Your hands and arms had a few scars. Your um, breaths were gone and replaced with well times, with a well times chest, suitable curves of your wrist, waist were now hard muscles. The plump flesh on your thighs was now small. You patted your cheeks to try and wake up, but the only thing you felt against your skin was rough calluses. You felt a coming panic attack shake you violently as you hyperventilated. No, no, no need to freak out. You said as you received a sharp slap on the back from a covered girl. You jolted and shook your head. Give me a mirror. What's happening? Where's Kirishima? You spoke, swinging your legs off the bed. He's right there, recovery go- girl said, pointing to a covered body, small with haired colored hair, peeking out from under the sheet. Is that you? Your body? And you were in Kirishima's. The two of you had switched bodies, or mind. And you didn't know the correct science, but you knew the blast had something to do with it. And you were totally, um, utterly fucked. When Kirishima woke up, he didn't say much, if anything. That's just staring straight that were not his. His body sat next to you not worse than that the person he had to get his body swapped with just had to be his crush since you transferred into you to you a there if there was a god he hated him uh, i'm sorry he muttered from your lips uh don't be you said without hesitation it's not anyone's fault but the bastards he uh, hi but his gaze, oh my god, both gay, oh my god, both kept his, your gazes off of one another. 
Afraid to look at each other, Kirishima suddenly moved his small hand to lace into what was his own. Um, I think I'll be awkward to confess to my own body since I'm not that narcissistic, but um, I don't know what else to do. If I don't do it now, it'll be more awkward afterward. And I'm not sure if I'll even want to talk to me afterwards, but I'm still gonna try. Kirishima begun. He looked at you, his face, and then cupped your cheek. That wasn't actually yours. You flushed a bit as he leaned in to kiss you. You shrunk in, shrunk up in your larger body and he missed completely, kissing the tip of your nose instead. He pulled back and watched as your body flushed as red as a tomato, you felt your heat, face heat up, and everything feel hot. The room, the clothes you were wore, even though you were practically shirtless, you missed. You said softly, uh, uh, "What?" He asked, looking back at you. He chuckled, leaning towards to wrap an arm around your own body, and pull him close to his, leaning in to place a real kiss on his lips. Your eyes fluttered shut while he just stared at you like an idiot, leaning into the kiss again, re oh my God, reciprocating completely. He wrapped the arms that were once yours around your neck and pulled at your now spread spiky hair gently. You pulled away and leaned your forehead against his. I said I missed you. Damn right I did. Show me how to do to aim again, he asked. Hmm. Gladly.